Hey YouTube, it's Friday, it's a rainy Friday, I'm taking care of some interior work. This is a house I did this tile work in, uh, I was trying to remember, I was talking with the homeowner, uh, six or seven years ago I did this, laid this out, and uh, freehanded this little, wait where's my hand, kind of did this where it leads into the living room. It's fun, I think it still looks pretty good, I think I did this in 2004, 2004, I can't remember. And then shortly after that, I did, uh, I built her a mantle. This mantle here, it's paint grade. It's just all done in fur, pretty straightforward. I did this, and we had some extra tile laying around. And she thought, boy, it'd be, or actually, I reckon, she said, boy, wouldn't it be nice if we could do something with the brick? Because it was all old school red brick. And I said, well, why don't we use that floor tile we had laying around? And I could box it in there, do the hearth and the backing. And here's something kind of fun with this. I did a deal where it sticks out. Ah, we, this lady's kind of wacky about her angles. So we thought we'd try something different. Different. So the upper end kind of comes to a point there. It's different. So why, ooh, why am I here today, you may ask yourself. Why is the beekeeper there? Oh yeah, when I installed this, I had to run a plug here, which isn't so bad, because actually the furnace is in a closet right here. So there's power already running here. I just stubbed it back. Not a big heavy deal. But a kind of fun, your basic paint grade. Basic paint grade. I thought that was kind of a neat thing to do. So why am I here? Why am I here? Well, our pellet stove has stopped working after all these years. And uh, I'm gonna take it apart and see what we can do. So here's where it sits now. Of course, as with any good equipment failure, it's gotta fail with a full hopper of pellets. Or, you know, your fuel pump dies with a full tank of gas, uh, that kind of thing. I think that's just status quo. So it had about, probably about 60 pounds of pellets in there. Uh, this thing will hold two bags worth of pellets, so they're 40 pounds a bag, so about 80 pounds of pellets. The auger's making noise, but it's not dumping pellets down here, so um, last time I was here, I was here a couple years ago and I did this, and it, what it is is I had to vacuum out the auger hole because it gets all the sawdust in there, and uh, I gotta clean it. So let's give that a shot. I'll vacuum that out and let's see what happens. An auger cover and a pretty shiny auger. I just vacuumed it out. It was jammed up with dust. Dust. So if you use a pellet stove, be sure you use some kind of strainer or something and you don't put a bunch of sawdust down there because it jams up your auger. This auger is good. It has a clutch, um, like friction plate clutch on it. So it won't break it. If that auger gets jammed, it just stops. So let's plug it in. Plug it in. Astroflam. Put it on max. Switches on. How slow this thing turns. There it goes. I think it's working. Put it back together. Let's fire this puppy up. And that's what the auger looks like when it's covered. So I've got to run several cycles of this to get the pellets all the way through that entire corkscrew there. So taking care not to break them. Well, this little deal is supposed to hold it up. Doesn't do a very good job. You can do it. Come on. Come on. Alright, let's light this bitch. Okay, making sure to finish my dessert first. This is what she uses. Product product by Rutland. One match gelled fire starter. It's an alcohol gel. That's good for pellet stoves and stuff. Shoot about a tablespoon in there. Throw a few little pelly poos on top. Throw a couple more for good measure. Eh. Another little blast. Make it a flame. 
and it's lit. Here you go, your pellet stove is lit. So, shink. Close the door. And see if it gets going. And the hopper is full. I put 80 pounds of pellets in there. I can close that. Let me turn off my work light. And that's what you look at. Pretty cool. It runs on high here for about eight minutes. And then the fan will kick on here as soon as the thermostat tells it it's warm enough. You can hear the auger cycling. And there you go. Six minutes later, that's about the full fire that you get out of it. I put those lights in too. I had all this tore out. To put the mantle in, I went ahead and ran some wires up there to a switch. But yeah, there you have it. Six or seven minutes into it now. It's ripping flame. I knocked it down to 50%, but I think I'm going to turn it down a little bit more. And the red light's on, that means the auger's dumping pellets. I closed the little box. Actually, now, a couple minutes later, the fan just kicked on. The auger's cycling. Easy heat. Nice. Fan works. Sweet.